Ramsey, Jacob, and Adams back and forth. If that's any indication of how this game is going to go, that's going to be a lot of fun. Could be pretty fun. And Osasu Osaga, try as I might. Yeah, 10 threes a game for Rice to lead the league. And they're top five in the nation when it comes to making threes and shooting threes. At Young. Out of Durham, North Carolina, somebody that's going to be a factor and a problem for the conference for years to come. Osaga going with the hook, but... And six and a half blocks per game this season. Rice, their strength is on the outside, shooting the basketball. They're not necessarily scared of going down low and seeing... Do oh, you think that one shot was a half-court buzzer beater leading into halftime or a desperation heave? I think it was, you know, probably a reckless abandon early on. A lot of contact there, but no call. Nice job by Jay Jr. to save it. It ends up at a two for Osaga. Nice job. The thing about Osaga, he doesn't just adjust shots right at the hole. He can step out on you. Makes you go over that seven-foot wingspan. Osaga with a deep hook. They can do that as well. You like Here, year. Saw something in him and actually put him on scholarship. Now he's the leading shot blocker in the nation and absolutely dominating. Funny how things happen when... Hope that he's not going to go over the top of you because he's also so disciplined. He doesn't foul a whole lot underneath. Again, Osasu Osaga. That is... Rice realized that and found Peterson open with a little bit of a mismatch up at the top of the key. There is no stopping Osasu Osaga. But in this situation, meanwhile, Rice needs to turn attention to their defense. Seven for their last seven are the Panthers. Make it eight of nine. Osaga with a putback. USA freshman of the week back in November. Hasn't played too well of late. But maybe that gets him going. Osaga. This one. But for the most part, it's been within three or four points. Osaga, that's his spot, baby. Yeah, that's seven times in this game. Coach Ballard has really made that a point of emphasis. Listen, we have to take care of the ball, guys. Osaga missed that three. Every year they get to the championship game, it seems, and lose. The Western last two seasons they've lost to the championship game. Western Kentucky has the most talented starting lineup in Conference USA. I season. Sagai short on that Williams the rebound and day right side Andrews goes baseline double teamed on the baseline now gives it into Osaka misses the shot rebound by Tech here comes the day with it on the dribble turns gives it in the right corner now down low to Kukorian works against Stacy Thomas turns fires up an air ball and a 30 second shot early 19 to 12 Tech on top by seven Wanting to drive his day, they get it inside and a slam dunk by Osaka. And he had a day, looks down low, gives it now to Andrews. He gets it down low to Osaka. Osaka wants to back his way in against Thomas. Little jump hook, no good. Rebound by Olive, gives it back to Derek Jean. Jean has a shot blocked by Osaka. He'll take it all the way to the bucket, puts it up, missed it. It's tipped, no good. Rebound loose on left. Left side with it, Andrews. Andrews back to Day, down on the low block. Osaga puts it up, good. Little jump hook right in front of the bucket. This is Kukorian, Kukorian. They'll get it down low to Osaga. Works against Gordon to the bucket. His shot put up, no good. Rebound by Gordon. Gets it to the inbound pass, goes to Jacob. Jacob will give it back to Kukorian. Long pass up to Andrews. Here's a flush on an alley-oop to Osaga. Rebound goes back to the bucket, has it knocked away. Here's Jacob with it, dumps it off inside to Osaga. His shot, good. Got it point blank range. He has it outside, gets a screen from Osaga, works against Kobe Williams, gets it down to Osaga, goes to the bucket, missed the shot, and a rebound, knocked out of bounds by looking down low, gets it to Osaga. Osaga works against Muhammad to the bucket, turns, floater put up, it's good. It's down to a one point. Nunez picks up the dribble. Looks for help, finally gets it to Osaka. He works against Muhammad, his shot put up good. Osaka, that's a pick from Osaka. Now right side, they get it to Osaka, down on the low block, guarded by Thomas with the left hand, short, no good. Rebound, good defense by Vortek. Outside is Jacob, he'll get it down low to Osaka, works against Stacy Thomas, ball away shot, it's good. He just threw up a, a dick.
great coach, too. He's done a fantastic job with this program. FIU getting off to a better start than they did. This team won tournament games in 97, 98, 99, 2001. Yeah. That, because Charlotte drives the ball a lot. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have the chance to contest a lot of shots. He's going to get a few up. Well, he's going to get a few points as well. He now has four. Do Bamba beat him down the floor. Bamba beat him down the floor, and then he threw the eyebrow fake to get him to fly by. Oh, Osagu. I don't know if he had a, a rough end. Why they're one of the top defensive teams in the nation. They don't give up anything easy. They get that pack line defense set. They make it work. And Osagai likes that little. Osagai out high, looking to set the screen. Now Roland gets it. That's his spot. <laughs> he hasn't missed from there. The yeah. turnaround. FIU with its largest lead of the game. It's a five. They go to double now. Osagai. He's got 10. Antonio Day Jr. had 12 in the first half. That's a rebound from Osagai. Oh, plus man. the foul. That guy kind of bothered that shot, though, with his presence. They almost had the steal. And another bucket from Osaga. He's got 15 and 10 rebounds. He didn't have Antonio Day, the guy with the basketball in his hand. Great pass. Here comes the double now. This is the first time they did it. Osaga missed it. That looked like it went out of those double teams. He wasn't even looking. He still tried to score out of it. Osaga that time got it up before the double came. Like, but Charlotte doesn't appear to have that kind of firepower or experience, really. There it is, Osagai. That is his spot and his shot. Basketball, leading scorer on the team, has done virtually nothing tonight, at least in the scoring department. Yeah, just a couple of buckets. Goodness, the didn't block it, but he certainly changed the trajectory. Corcoran up to a side guy, stuffs it. That's a foul, too. Figures with 10 points. Three North Texas players in double figures. Reese and Gibson each have 14. Osagai, the only player on him. You have to at least rise, and the second you rise out of your stance, the blow by. Osaga! Oh, he tried to hammer it home. They get it all at once. You got to maintain your equilibrium on offense and get higher percentage shots. Well, they might need to start making some threes. They've only made two of them tonight. Osaga has been the lone bright spot. He Whoa. missed that. And North, a complete performance from start. We'll see if they finish it, but they might not need to. Oh, well, Saga finishes that one. He's had a couple of fun dunks. I think Bryce Williams at UTEP, but UTEP's not winning. But Bryce Williams is one of the best players in this league. A post player that's really to dominate the game. Oh, Saga. He's had a good night offensively. Short on that one. Oh, look out. Boy, that's dangerous. From Miami. Something about a team wearing green in here. Marshall came in, the only other team to, to win on this court this season, and now the mean green. Left to right out front, Taylor. Taylor. And is slow. And Baker. Saw guy out there. Well, they got the mismatch down low with the saw guy. They couldn't find him. 
Shot hits the side of the board. A saw guy reverses up and in. Oh, he gets the ball that low. That Dropped that ball in that last possession out the three-point line. Day. Challenge shot. A saw guy with the offensive rebound. Got to get a body on a saw guy. He... Corcoran. Around the Osagai screen on the pick and roll. Osagai lays it in. Banks can't finish that alley but they want to get him involved in the paint. And challenge Osagai all night long. Osagai recognized the mismatch there in terms of his offensive ability. Osagai had those 22 points Saturday after 13 points on 5 of 7 shooting against Marshall. And a nice turnaround. Hook shot, baby hook here from... Love it, spinning against the zone. Osagai, second shots. Yes, he has six. Oh, that would have been. That is this system. That is what Jeremy Ballard promised to do when he got here. Jacob, some contact. They're letting him play here in the early going. Osagai's crashing the boards here. And continue for the Owls. Osagai upstairs from Antonio Day. Oh, you know FAU is going to come out with some adjustments, AJ. No doubt about it. Yeah, I would. Oh, here, Osagai, heat check, a team heat check. I, no, I would suppose not. Here's Osagai, not a bad idea to get him in single coverage in the post. That's a nice response from FIU. After that, it came together as a team. There was a lot of internal fighting among the squad. And then kind of came together after that announcement. Started winning for it. Takes the lead. Georgia Jr. Ford from Virginia. Coming off an eight-point game at Western Kentucky. Osangai cleans things up. Underneath, Danny. Back. No good. Another opportunity for FIU. Day up top. Osangai got it that time. Basketball. They're getting decent looks in their half-court offense. Andy Taylor, a terrific floater right there. Over Osangai launching. No. He's three for five before that shot. Or just to get by. 58-50, Day. Another floater. Osagai follows it up with a loud, emphatic. Still time for FIU to work themselves. Plenty of time. I mean, they down by 14. We saw how quickly they erased that deficit. Osagai, a solid move underneath. 29 left to play. Trey John Jacob hit his second three in a row. Those are last points. And that'll end a drought. Nearly five. They will take the final FIU shots. Maybe we get one more here. As time ticks down. For Andrews, he checks out. The Sagai down low going up against Milo Supica. And Supica with the Bomba. Very effective early going of the first half here. Nice bounce pass by Day inside Osagai. Osagai working on Bossage. Get down low pretty easily. A nice finish by the big man. The turnover so far have led to six points for FIU. Panthers he turned it over twice. Spin move was there. Shot wasn't. Got five to shoot. Andrews, three. That's short. Osagai, though, gets the rebound, and he puts it up and in. Rebound by Andrews. Now it's Day with the eight points in the first half. There's that speed inside. Dumped the ball off. Osagai couldn't fit it. Martin tried to sneak in and swipe the ball away. Day, nice feet down low in the big dunk. As he control. Still plenty of time to shoot. I said plenty of time. I didn't know. I was trying to tell them that they had plenty the best of time. game of his life. So a great weekend of college hoops on ESPN and the ESPN app. And a nice move inside as Jacob skies in for the rebound. A saw guy, one dribble right down the lane. It was deflected by Reese. Maybe that one gets him going. Yeah, he he must get going if they want to maintain this lead because his FIU team is good. And they definitely would need his scoring. Osaga missed the first one inside, but stays with it. What can you do when, when your shot's not falling? You have to find ways around you to make your teammates better and to contribute. And that's what Xavier Green is doing right now. Nice look back door. 
And FIU keeps going back to this ball screen because they want their best playmaker, Antonio Day, finding people. Here's Andrew. I believe it's Day Jr. who's leading the conference in assists. Nice pocket pass to Osaga. Rejected underneath. Second effort is off the mark. And some good interior deep. This will be fun here. Osaga with the block on the perimeter. This time, Jacob outlets it to his teammate who finishes off the glass. This FIU with this conference, you never know. Any team on any sort of standard can bring it to any team. The first, last place team can take on the first place team and give them a prize later on in the game. Sagai working one on one underneath and puts it in off the glass. Conference play and knocked off some giants. And keep they've had power five win after power five win as well, but it would be Vanderbilt or Tennessee, Ole Miss. KU has asserted itself in the first half. This is the largest lead. Day. Once again to Osaga. I waited a little longer. With Rodriguez probably meant so much to him. And in the next day getting that scholarship, you know, things happen for a reason. There's Osaga with two more. Miss Middle Tennessee missing some bunnies at the rim. Jacob to Osaga. Oh, -ho! big O with the slam. Don't get in that man. And a layout there, AJ. What you got? Middle Tennessee has only had the lead in this ball game a minute and 31 seconds compared to FIU's 30 minutes and 24 seconds. Hope of college basketball this season. And how there, it just doesn't seem like there's a dominant team. As the saw guy now has 18. I was about to 260, four and a half to play. This one well in hand for the Panthers. Ooh. So, that's Bad about man. the only thing that's gone wrong for the big man tonight. in his career, but he's a guy who Rice depends on quite a bit to shoot that three. Andrew Osagai working down low, gets it to fall. Actually, got right, three back. He's currently down five. Osagai works on Murphy, can't get it to go. Tell you what, he's feeling it today. He wants to get that ball up and at him. Again, this time Osagai wins the battle. Yeah, that's a nice little drop shot there. When he's playing. Just have to be able to make a decision. Andrews drives. Again, can't get it to go. It's tipped in by Osagai. Certainly, if that's the kind of game you're going to play, that's going to probably advantage Rice. And that is refreshing to see here as we start off in the second half with three consecutive. He's done nothing but gotten better uh, from his freshman season to this season and with every game. Inside to Osagai, throws it down. That was that well in the second half. They needed him to play well in the second half. I think the Rice team uh, played much better in the second half. Down low, Osagai, outstanding, but certainly some good second half shooting has picked those numbers up. And Osagai gets it with one hand. Man, the athleticism and the Comes up empty, and Andrews with the board for FIU. Gibson doesn't mind NBA range. Not at all. Catch deep and score inside by Four points from Dangu. Big to big passing can really be on display with North Texas, and Simmons a good distributor. Denied at the hole. Guy goes in assists, more than five a game. Feeds it to Osagwai, one-on-one -on -one against Simmons, trying to get him in foul trouble. That right-handed hook shot around and out. Reese with the rebound. Away from the basket, being hounded by Dangu. 
Jacob to Andrews. Asagwai recovered on by Dang. In and out. And Bell with another board. Bell playing up Andrews. Jacob, a left-handed drive. Sends it out to Day. Catch and shoot. Around and off. Osagwai can't touch it back in. And guard for FIU at over five assists per game. Around the high screen. Lobs it for Osagai, who pays dividends at the other. And FIU can get it down inside a single digit. Osagai, one on one. Forced to go to his left. Can't hit. Andrews with the offense. Two pointer to go. The shot he was missing in the first half comes alive here in the second. Lob inside and Osagai finishes. Point Day can't get free. Draper right on him, slapping. Osagai, right handed hook. Nice find off the back of the ring. With a big flush. Thomas Bell has come off the bench in every game during conference play and is hit for 10 in every game. A wide open three. Off long lead, too strong. Smart saves it back in bounds and ends up in the first row. It's a five on four, and Osaga makes it up. Just looking for a breakaway bucket. They thought about a three now. Over the top, Osaga slams it home. Run. Score for the Roadrunners thus far. He's three points over a season average. Osaga with the floater on the other end. First, only one field goal. He's looked much more comfortable here in the early going. Day wants Osagai again, but that's off the front of the... 245 left to play. Osagai, mid-range jumper, that is off the... Now offensively, big man turning, spinning, can't finish. There. Well, FIU fine on this offensive possession. They'll find Osaga. Beautiful bounce pass from Antonio Day. Could not put it down. Here's Day. Over the top. Osaga can't finish the lob. away shot clock doesn't reset six to shoot Jacob looking for any sort of space they got to get it off final second Osaga can't bail the Panthers out he has Lloyd Smith step on him off is over a step back three from day no Osaga the board and the foul Osaga out of state Oklahoma State 170 points the last two games both wins for Minnesota Jacob the drive and the dish and a dunk for Osaga. And I really don't like it, but that's the proper call. Excellent use of verticality there by Florida FIU in transition. Osaga off the miss, up and in. So FIU. But Mercer really sprinted the floor. He has been a breath of fresh air effort wise for Minnesota today. Osaga over a two route, didn't move, no finish. Another rebound. Bit of a hitch, he didn't catch it cleanly, and it was reflected in the poor rotation as it came off his hand. Day to Osaga, two-man game, and a dunk. And top. It may not seem like a long time, but you know, three or four days, when you kind of get out of rhythm, you can certainly make an impact. It's a two-man game, Jacob to Osaga. Skill sets, but just being around a guy like Jordan Murphy last year, day in and day out, are you seeing that as an impact for his improved play this season? Well, hopefully what he took from Jordan, Lamar Stevens fouls out, they end up losing that ball game decisively, but then they follow that up with probably one of the most impressive wins against a very talented Maryland team at home.
They shot 35.3 from the field and 30.4 from beyond the arc. As Osaga just hits a three. John Jacob, now Osasu with the ball. Kicks it back out of Trey John Jacob, the top of the key. Osasu is going to try a three. No good. Rebound Florida Memorial. It's that Euro step, and Antonio Day Jr. is going to get the ball right back off the steal. He's going to drive it in. And a layup. No, but Osasu tries to tip it back in just off the rim. And Panthers go back the other way. Here's Osasu, double teamed. Floater, no problem for Osaga. Center. Here's Sasuke Osaga, just in and out. Panthers. Here's Jojo Nunez who checked into the game. The junior finds Osaga and one. Racing the other way, Jacob is. Couldn't get the grip on the layup, Osaga. With the rebound, puts it back in. Osaga at the top of the key, driving in. Gets the layup with his left. Tom Crean at UGA. As Burden nets KSU's first point of the afternoon. Nice speed and Osaga with a flush. Yeah, it was just a simple pick and roll. Osaga. Turns in the paint. Off the mark with a left hand, and KSU secured. And Obaniki, nice how he contort his body and also went up. But you can't allow this if you're Kennesaw State. Come back down for FIU, easy basket. Osagai on clean. The great thing is we have replay, and Harris was guilty <laughs> on this one. He did push him slightly in the back. Jacob gives a great alley-oop to Osaga. Seconds, but that's the downfall. If you miss it or come up with a block like Lockley just in, you only have five seconds on the shot clock at this point. Osai guy wide open in a two-handed slam dunk. The Owls are doing a great job with switching those picks. Um, that time it was a was a mistake. It was a lack of crowd back into it for the home standing Owls. Five to shoot. Osai guy short and Brewer covers. 10 on the shot clock. Around Washington, up and under short. Offensive rebound for the Panthers, and Osaga with a monster dunk. Oh, come on, O. Oh. oh, how do you miss that? Oh, good job, O. Day, a very talented player that people, especially FIU fans, were excited to watch. He participated. Corcoran already has some today. Much too strong. Devon Andrews lays it off. Osaga punches it in. Good on self. Or AD going up tall for the interception. And lays it off to Andrews. Osaga, oh, everything but the finish. I dunked it way too hard. That was a beautiful dish. Day just hit a three from there. Osaga wants to redeem himself. He'll get to a little softer that time. Anderson said, all right, three fadeaway threes might not be my game. But I can slam it home. Osaga with the soft touch on the other end. Two men on Corcoran. Love it. Had enough room for a corner three, which was halfway down the cylinder. Osaga with the board. He gets a little dose of his own medicine. Now has eight points on three of eight shooting. Osaga turns the corner, a step through, and not the finish, though. 
Brewer. Rips it to Osagai, backing down his man. Osagai turns off the glass. No, get out of play to FIU. He throws with the team down by one, missed them both. As that left hand wrapped up a little bit today, Osagai able to finish the play. They had it at eight points for unable to whittle it any further. Osagai putting the final touches on this Thanksgiving. for either side three nothing cleveland state two minutes and 22 seconds into the game out top the other way osaga for three drains it but then a wild bounce pass is intercepted brewer the other way today down the lane to the basket reverse layup missed it rebound tipped sanchez has it for cleveland state by osaga and it's taken by tevin brewer he flies the other way cleveland state now just one of eight from the field he'll lob it to osaga catch and dunk on the baseline, Osaga throw line this year. He's got two points tonight. 36-14, Florida International. 5.55 to go in the first two-man game. Osaga got it and crammed it home for the left wing. See, lob down low goes to Andrews. Fronts up Gomillion in the paint. Leans in. Nice pass to Osaga. He catches and dunks. And FIU picks right up left hand for the Cleveland State's first two of the second half. Eichelberger has four. The other way, Day to the basket. Missed the left handed layup. Rebound Osaga. He turns and drops it in the hole. He's got 11 to. Well, in the first half, FIU perimeter. Everything was moving outside. Here to start the second half, they're working everything down to the low block. Saga got the ball, dribbles in, missed the little bunny. Helms with his second field goal at the other end. Osaga over Funderburk for two. And nice interior passing there. Eric Lovett. Osaga. The former rock arm with a nifty move. He's showing nice touch with this trip before. Brewer, wide open. And Osagai on the glass. Great little up fake. Did not get the call with the cup. Osagai hits Brewer back door. He'll kick it to the corner for Lovett. Osagai on the glass. Looked like Funderburg got him on the arm and rejecting Helms was Andrews. Well, that's the thing, you know, with, with many of the Power 5 schools, nice play there. Chance for an and one, Osasu. The line, but he wanted to get that shot up. Jacob to Osaga. I think Bates got a piece of it. I believe so. Communicate right there and secure it. Don't let it kick away. It's the reason you have a tie game right now early on. Inside of Saigon, gonna put it off the glass. Inside, wide open shot, Saigon coming down the lane. Not up by this game at all. Nice feed inside, a wide open shot. Nice feed inside. Brewer can't hit the layup, but now the putback. 
Goes high to Perry. Ball picked off. Here comes Jacob running up the floor. Woodard got a block. Osaga missed the shot. Now State may have numbers. Andrews into Osaga. And boy, he just. Corcoran will take the three. Offside rebound. And to count that but Bodies in there for Woodard to try to sift through. Saga, 17 footer off the left eye. Or the second leading scorer in VMI history. And the second leading scorer in his household. <laughs> These are all facts. You speak the truth. No good for Elmore. And the rebound picked up by Day Jr. Up ahead to Beard. Oh, nice find to Osaga. Up and under. Look, Andrews. Marshall shooting 41%. FIU shooting 66%. That'll boost the shooting percentage right there. Uh -huh. well, it has turned into a track meet early on, Bob. That's Great. three on the way and short there from Beard. Blocked by Kinsey as Osagai, but he gets it back. Oh. But the end one as Osagai comes right back. The two run and the thundering herd lead once again. Oh, beautiful pass on this end. For Elmore with the pass on that end. Bring it forward into the front court. Floater toward the rim. Won't go, but Osagai again picks up. Back up top to Elmore. Three blocked by Osagai. Hanging around on the perimeter. Running the floor. Get out and fill, big man. Osagai. Track at home. C.J. Burks gives the herd their biggest lead of the night. Beard, nice feed to Osaga. <laughs> and man, when you have that wingspan. Through a tough stretch in Texas, UTSA and UTEP, they fell back-to-back -back games on the road. Osaga got the lob, seven to three. Beard with his. A little rimmed out, 21-20, La Tech. Beard, oh, whips a pass. Osaga rejected from behind. What a pass, but what a better deep. Per game, he's at 14. Largest lead of the game for La Tech at four. Beard. Found Osagai. And again, Thomas with the nice. Langston was one of the top Juco players around last year. Second team Juco All-American. Nice looking post move from Osagai. Beard still sitting at 999. Andrews evaded the block. Ho, oh, Osagai. There was nobody back for FIU, even though he lost the basketball. Osagai. And a tough angle. Missed a shot. Up by two. Day with a nice pocket pass. Osaga could not finish. Point lead for La Tech. Osaga. Oh, he's had a couple that have just rolled. And unable to convert the shot. Big possession here with 3.12 remaining. Osagai got the feed and got the buckets. Beard to Osagai. Timeout. Down that back door cut. Beard hasn't shot much since his last three, but he's distributing the basketball. And how about that finish from Osagai? You certainly can't count any shots before they're taken or before they're made. Good lob right there to Osagai. Oh, almost. A very loud finish on Beard, not fouling right away. He'll go over the top, finding Andrews right by the end line. And Osaga, I know. They go, they go for the bucket. Osaga. They finally got their first field goal. Big man down low. Nice moves down low for Osaga. The lob inside. Swing and a miss for the big man. That's how you shoot goal. over the shot blocker. Inside, though, great bounce pass. Falling away and off the glass goes Osage. Long rebound. The other way, here's Banks. Back to the big slam. Osage. It's a 15-0 run for UTSA. Inside, and that will put an end to the drought. The highest percentage shot in it until halftime here in San Antonio. 
and able to bully his way and come away with the score. Osaka. Tony O'Day, the freshman, spent time in prep school in Fort Lauderdale and Durham. Jacob coming off a tough game as well. That's a nice pass in midair to Osaga with an equally not trying to create from there. 26-21 La Tech. Nunez, that's a long two. Good offensive rebound from Osaga, and he can't finish. Five-point game midway through the first thing. Very efficient offense against the multiple FIU defenses. Brian Beardo, what a find, and Osaga puts it in for two. Good. And wins the tournament. Maybe you're not a 12, maybe you're an 11 when you get into the postseason. It's only good if it works. <laughs> so, both of these teams making some changes. And Osaga with a nice two underneath. Working the shot clock to the final moments there. Just firing on the long two. Beard, the hesitation, the dump in, the slam from Osaga. That's FIU's in the black and gold. Day over the top. Osaga brings it down and is fouled. Beard floats it over the top to Osaga. Got his man in the air with a pump fake. Couldn't finish the shots. Trying to avoid a turnover here. Got it back out. That's a great feed from Beard. Barely any difference between the shot and game clock. This time looking for the emphatic finish. Finally, Day will get an open shot. Uh, looked, it looked on target. Oh, and Beard pokes it to Osaga. What a play from behind. Andrews picked up his dribble. Nunez always looking to shoot. Osaga got some space, and there's the slam from the big man, Osasu. Last season. Moments away unless they can fight their way back with an incredible comeback from their first losing streak of the bumping tonight. Osaga underneath the basket, tough area. Second chance, got an offense. And gets it back up and in on the putback, and that goes. Osasu Osagai. Long arms, plays bigger than 16. There's a former walk-on, actually. Elmore jumped off to Osagai, blocked away by Williams, but it gets over in the near side to Andrews. Osagai gets it back and puts it back up and in. Okay, here comes. Will go. Osaga gets it to go and one. And when he gets it off the offensive glass, he can score with it. He's having trouble with the pass. Great job. <laughs> Lob to Osaga. <laughs> throw it down. Let's just have a dunk contest here at the Henderson Center. Tennessee 
what was an 11 point lead. I was kind of taken back that Osaga did beard. Another block by Scurry. And Osoga, Osuga, couldn't put it back home. Sims for three, got it. Back, and it's an eight point game. Gamble for three. And the big guy can't respond. And now there's a minute 15 to go. <laughs>
Points, 200 rebounds and 106 in a season. He's somebody that can do it all for the Owls, and he did it there. Stepping back, it's underway after they had kind of gone dry a little bit. Osaga catches deep, dumps it off, reversal, doesn't go. I imagine you were the type of player that liked to pad his stats of like course. that back in the day, Hassel. Of course. Deep three from... Same things in my back patio at my house about an hour and a half north of here. In fact, my cushions are really dirty. I'm thinking about just taking a few of them. But it went in, so it's a great shot. <laughs> Cameron Justice, is that at one guy, though, that you kind of have the green light in the press to let go from three? And we move around the perimeter. Here's Levitt with a long three. It's way off. Rebound by Kikorian, back outside, a three, and it's good. Mike. Corcoran will be the guy handling the ball for them from 55. Jacob, three. There it is. 56%, and most of them coming from the water like we talked about earlier. Again, missed five. Andrews will fire a triple. Sagai with a long rebound. Andrews on the drive. Number 314, largest lead of the game for the Panthers. Now into double digit. He's got some time in Juco in Texas. Only six points per game this season. Jacob, the senior. The layup. NBA team somehow. Any team, whether, like you said, it's just here in the NBA or or it's in, it's in Europe. Able to take it away initially, diving for the loose ball. Look at that hustle from the big fella. Day, the floater, it falls. We're tied at 19, it's a 10-0 run for FIU. Corcoran for three. Saga lost it. That's blocks. Kinsey went up. Bend that well. Five to shoot. Andrews, top Team two. Won't go. To That's really been the difference in this game thus far. Both teams just one three-point field goal made. Her transfer from Providence College. Andrews going inside and blocked away by Bob. You feel his presence. Here's a deep three from Corcoran. And to get to. He loves to get to his mid-range jumper, especially when his three isn't falling, and we've seen that, seen him hit that shot twice tonight. Music festival all year long down here in South Florida. And here just outside Sweetwater, got a good ball game underway. That's Sasuo Sagai. Again, he's explosive on both ends of the floor. Banks near 
20, 20. Y tú lo vives a través de ESPN Deporte. Andrews drives. Gratis, eh. Can't get it to go Acá. seconds. Jacob down low gets it to go and finally the nice right before they hit a three game road trip Nate so really really important don't want to get on the hot nice job getting back defensively by North Texas Asagwai out to the right corner catch and shoot three 10 point lead for North Texas though 14 minutes to play plenty of time for FIU as Lovett looks to hit a big shot did not reset it's under 10. Jacob high arcing three that one spun alley St. Paul native former golden golfer good contest here's Osasu Trey John Jacob for three Name. Are we losing? Holy shit. Ooh, you. Uh. Oh, wait. Did you win, lose, or win? Just call it replay now. Brewer. That was a layup compared to. Gives it back to Day. Three pointer. Sideline left. No good. Osaga the rebound. Pass down low. Andrews force it up. Good. Over Eichelberger. First shot in. State the man to man. Out the day, he'll take the third year for Ben Allen. Driving layup, wouldn't go. Third section. And as Kinsey made the and one free throw, a seven point advantage for FIU. Boy, that would. Well, Banks got some space. Isaiah Banks. Beard immediately rises from three in front of his bench. Day a great of pass. Nunez well off the mark. That's a nice offensive board. Osagai Jacob was all alone underneath. Off the back rim. Osagai big rebound. Andrews spot up. Let's it go. Andrews. Jackson with 10 points on the bench. Day off the attack. And although they have a transition bucket, FIU does off of a, a turnover, the shooting percentage early on for Louisiana Tech, very high. This way, it's a game of chess. It's back and forth. The six-point lead, not much. It'll Here's be interesting Jay. to see how it plays out. FIU had numbers and took advantage. Aiko Adams, four-year player here at Rice. Way off of that right-handed hook shot. That's his go-to. It's almost like clockwork for him underneath. Once he gets physical, oh. For buys last season, then Old Dominion is the defending tournament champion. Of course, they've had a little bit of a down year. The winner of that game takes on the top-seeded Ming. Over almost horizontal with the hardwood. And he laid it up on that Euro step, and there's a block on the other end. Yeah, get some stops. This is an FIU team that has dominated the paint so much. They have a 40 to 24 advantage in terms of the paint, and then right an opportunity to strike. Finally found a window. Nice good look for Peterson. Can't buy it. Martin with the offensive rebound. May have been blocked. Anderson spinning around Osaga, who I believe Don't got his it. finger. Now Hollingsworth. Oh, he. Thought about ooping it to Anderson. We both we both saw it. Oh, Saga the block. Thomas on the low block. Thomas nearly lost it. Gives it back to Derek Jean. Jean has a shot blocked by Osaga. He'll take it all. It's been deployed 
one of the top defensive teams in the nation, giving up 65 points a game. FIU is pretty good, too. Well, Sagai with the last six or seven minutes. Jordan Shepard blocked by Osaga, his second block of the game. It's Fayou. And there's still a ton of time, a lot of possessions. And again, they're getting really good looks, and there's the third block. What a statement by FIU. Oh, boy! Oh, good point, Tim, and you were there for that game in Denton over the weekend. A fantastic battle between Louisiana Tech and North Texas, and there you see the, the next pass to try to steal. Hamlet, rejected by Osagai. This North Texas team, the way they're shooting the basketball. There's a five guard and a one again. Hamlet blocked from behind. And, and that is the first. And UTEP's a team that might not even make the Conference USA tournament. How crazy is that? Yeah, so it's kind of hard to give Bryce Williams. Goes through Harper Baker, either inside with the power moves or inside offside to the uh, outside the arc. Block shot there. Destroyed Western Kentucky on pick and roll. Zesevich got it to Taylor. Scooter on the drive, blocked by Osagai. That's his first of the game. So it stays a one point lead for the Panthers. Taylor on the drive, blocked by Osagai. Zesevich with the ball. They've had six different players lead the team in scoring. 11 different owls. There's a block from Osagai, his first games. Rarely do you get a rematch with your rival anywhere in college basketball. Just Three days later, that's another block for Osagai. A team last year that said rebounding, free throw percentage, and three pointers made records. Osagai, another deflection. I mean, you look at the match of last year, <laughs> the kind of games they had in West Virginia. There's Osagai. Leads the country in that category. There's his first of the evening. And that's what's filled the seats this season. The shot and game clock here. See if Marshall will hold for the final attempt. Kinsey backing down for a front. Oh, what a move. Oh, they wanted a goaltend. They might have had Marina. We'll go back door to Shepard. And that ball blocks away. Osagai finally earns the rebound. And they throw up to Bamba. Bamba had it blocked away. I poured so much into that program and into those guys. I mean, I'm nowhere near the respons I'm responsible for it, but. It's nice to see him number one in the country. Green has a shot blocked by who else? A Sagai. Zikbe calling for the ball inside. Good movement here. Oliver has it. Curry against at Old Dominion. Monarchs have had a nine-point lead in this half. Zick. You don't see that happen to Osagai too much. This will be fun here. Osagai with the block on the perimeter. Osagai on the perimeter against Green. It's the first time they've switched on to each other. Oh, Osagai wins that matchup. Back to a double-digit lead. Just like that, like I told you, blink of an eye, things can change, and it's back up to 10. Osaga nearly had another. His tights on the left side, his left knee is kind of ripped, and there's a little bit of blood coming out of there. Osaga finishing that.
good. Yeah, that's what a good job. And out, Nate. Yeah, that's what a good job. Good. Good. So in lanes, too. There's a second best shot blocker. Oklahoma. That was a heartbreaking game against OU, a game that North Texas knew they could have won. Oh, wide open lane, but here comes Osagwai. The no surprise there. Antonio Day Jr. leading the league in assists with 144. Nice job to get Osagai up in the air by Murphy. FIU had numbers and took advantage. Aiko Adams, four year player here at Rice. Way off. Most notably that shortstop, he's going to be an impact when conference play comes around. So don't give up on Rice baseball just yet. Peterson picked up by Osagai. Of that right-handed hook shot, that's his go-to. It's almost like clockwork for him underneath. Once he gets physical, oh. For buys last season, and then Old Dominion is the defending tournament champion. Of course, they've had a little bit of a down year. The winner of that game takes on the top seed at Ming for almost horizontal with the hardwood. And he laid it up on that Euro step, and there's a block on the other end. Yeah, from each other. Now I know Old Dominion's the Monarchs, but their logo is a lion. That's good. The boy. Panthers for FIU. That's so. not a stretch at all. No, right? Murphy hasn't had much space in the second half to shoot threes. Now Peterson over. Oh! Hollingsworth from the elbow, and he knocks that no, down. Boy. Now Hollingsworth. Oh, he. Thought about ooping it to Anderson. We both we both saw it. Oh, Saga, the block. Well, off in 12 minutes, it's Tavion Hollingsworth. And here he goes. Isaiah Co and 91% of you believe Western Kentucky is going to win the Conference USA Tournament. Not Archibald. Now looking to drive. Pulls up, takes the floater. Good by Archibald. Along with Stacy Thomas and Ledoux on the floor, here's Lacey driving to the bucket, lays it up and in with the right hand. Charlie has been deployed, one of the top defensive teams in the nation, giving up 65 points a game. FIU's there's pretty a block. good too. Well, Sagai with the last six or seven minutes. Jordan Shepard blocked yeah. by Osagai, his second block of the game. It's Fayu. And there's still a ton of time, a lot of possessions. And again, they're getting really good looks, and there's the third block. What a statement by FIU. Oh, boy! Always oh, in Conference USA, one of the best bigs in this in this conference. Saga may have gotten a piece of that as well. Tackle play. Came up empty. There goes Hamlet. We haven't seen a lot of on Osa, a saga. Exceptional. He has eight. That gets going. The next pass to try to steal. Hamlet. Rejected by Osagai. This North Texas team, the way they're shooting the basketball. There's a five guard and a one again. Hamlet blocked from behind. And, and that is the first one. Bounce two. And here. Well, I'm, you know, you just got to find a way to get it scoring uh, for. 324 left in the Trojans. Want to give him a chance. Destroyed Western Kentucky on pick and roll. Zesevich got it to Taylor. Scooter on the drive, blocked by Osagai. That's his first of the game. Play concept last year. Not sure a lot of the coaches are big fans of it. Ingram on the drive, puts it up and in as he it stays a one point lead for the Panthers. Taylor on the drive, blocked by Osagai. Zesevich with the ball. time as Osaga, he's the best in the country. A team last year that set rebounding, free throw percentage, and three-pointers made records. Osaga, another deflection. Look at the stat line for today. 110 assists, 86 turnovers entering tonight. Bennett. I mean, you look at the matchup last year, <laughs> the kind of games they 
And in West Virginia, there's Osagai. Would have been something else. Here's Bennett back in the game. Cradling, look, look at him palm the ball. Beginning as fast as the start Marshall got off to, you saw that FIU had a little bit of, uh, of some turnovers. But they Jimmy Bowner has no problems with him taking it. Flow of the offense, Kinsey, who you see that explodes corner threes in the first half. Marshall back on top by a point. West, too easy. Miami. Panthers led by as many as seven. Marshall, as many as 14. They're going to right to Petty to start the. Marshall players were saying, or even saying, look, this is one of the first teams that truly is Osaga fouls Kinsey on the spin. Easily. Marshall defense starting to become very steady. Can be on you going up with you. It's going to be extremely difficult to get the ball in the basket. Kinsey to the bucket. It's a 10 point game. Young working off the pick from Supica inside and one goes with Bamba. Camera, you share. Shepard turns the tables like Ryder won't finish, but Bob. Shepard got some room inside and he finishes again. And we saw the pressure from FIU. We're going to see a lot of that today. That's the VCU influence that's been brought to this program by the. You look at their conference losses they're, they're not by a large margin they're, they're by no more than 10 so this team is is in these teams needing this game to continue their season here's martin against osaga another slam for trey murphy Don't force up a shot you still got plenty of time you showed earlier that you can score in a hurry peterson playing the point forward spot the offensive end he's going to go get it Anderson missed the dunk. That's not that, Chris. Thank you, Ashley. Isaiah Cozart in the game for Western Kentucky. I like it. Gets a little bit. Again, the shot clock winding down. Five seconds. Rawls has it in his hands once again. Going to work. And it's a shot. The shot clock winds down to 10. Game clock winding to 15. Jared Savage just Pretty. steps all the way through. Fake phone booths anymore, but. That's another turnover. Anderson a little out of control as he looked to pass it. Slugged in the face. Anderson! Whoa, baby! Savvy. You usually pretend to lace up your Velcro shoes. It's only weird if it doesn't work, Chris Hassel. Energy late in the second half as there was in the first half. Justice blocked by Osagai, but a foul. Fake going down the court and came back to the ball. Now fades away and gets the roll. Team for 16 tonight. But it's about 79% of the season as Hollingsworth gets it blocked, and that's a shot clock to Kobe Williams. Williams dribbles left, back to the right. Now gives it to Archibald. Archibald through the lane. Floater put up no good, but he is fouled. It's no good. Rebound. Gordon has it. He wants to go against Osaka. Goes for the left hand. No good. Slam dunk by Osaka. Full court pressure by the Panthers. Deck beats the pressure. They get it to Archibald. Archibald driving to the bucket. And he's fouled again. The eight Tech. 15-25 remaining in a game. Covey Williams wanting to drive to the bucket. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Pull down. Bracey with it outside on the dribble. 12 on the shot clock. Here he wants to drive. Puts up a floater, it's no good, got his own rebound three. Kobe gives it to Gene. Gene wanting to drive to the bucket, has a shot blocked, but he is fouled. He's it up and in with the left hand. Kobe holds the ball, and Tech steals it. Kobe Williams follows, no good. He's tipped outside, Kobe Williams comes up with a loose ball. The crowd giving him an ovation, and they should. Here's Kobe Williams driving to the bucket with a right hand, good! Right. Entry pass to Malik Martin. Offensive rebound, Whoa. Bamba. They need some points. They're looking for their 13th home win, which would be a school record, which is hard to believe considering the, the two teams ascending so fast in just the second year for each of these coaches.
great move. And so really, Carolina has been deployed one of the top defensive teams in the nation, giving up 65 points a game. FIU is pretty good, too. Well, Sagai within the last six or seven minutes. Jordan Shepard. Blocked by Osaga, his second block of the game. It's one game, Dave was posting another game, but they got both those guys on the floor, and they have contributed big time. Boy, oh, Milo Supica, FAU. And there's still a ton of time, a lot of possessions, and again, they're getting really good looks, and there's the third block. What a statement by FIU. Oh, boy! Oh, he's but he's done some good things for his team in terms of coming up with loose balls and rebounding. Oh, Sagai almost got his fingertips on this. About 12 days. FIU had numbers and took advantage. Aiko Adams for your player here at Rice. Way off. Most notably that shortstop. He's going to be an impact when conference play comes around. So don't give up on Rice baseball just yet. Peterson picked up by Osagai. Of that right-handed hook shot. That's his go-to. It's almost like clockwork for him underneath. Once he gets physical. Oh. True positionless basketball for the Rice Owls. Mullins slips it. Trey Murphy finishes. Hollingsworth from the elbow, and he knocks that down. Well, off in 12 minutes, it's Tavion Hollingsworth. And here he goes. Isaiah Co Thomas on the low block. Thomas nearly lost it. Gives it back to Derek Jean. Jean has a shot blocked by Osaka. He'll take it off. Archibald. Now, looking to drive, pulls up, takes the floater, good by Archibald. Along with Stacy Thomas and Ledoux on the floor, here's Bracey driving to the bucket, lays it up and in with the right hand. He has it outside, Bracey looking, here he goes driving to the bucket, underneath, Stacy Thomas misses the layup, but he is back. Well on the sidelines, we had a great discussion about Richmond and other things related to VCU. Good to catch. Goes through Harper Baker either inside with the power moves or inside offside to the uh, outside the arc. Block shot there. Pretty good looks on tape of that. To rotate their, their big man, but maybe that opens some shots in the corner for the Panthers. Be over in Frisco, Texas for the Conference USA Tournament. Where both of these teams are certainly destined for. Taylor and Able play. And again, still enough time as Osaga, he's the best in the country. A team last year that said rebounding, free throw percentage, and three pointers made records. Osaga, another deflection. Look at the stat line for 
day. 110 assists, 86 turnovers entering tonight. Bennett. Pick and roll, they go to Bennett's. A little bit too much. Here's the, f I mean, you look at the match of last year, <laughs> the kind of games they had in West Virginia. There's Osagai, corner threes in the first half. Marshall back on top by a point. West, too easy, easily. Marshall's defense starting to become very steady. Can be on you going up with you, it's going to be extremely difficult to get the ball in the basket. Kinsey to the bucket. It's a 10 point game. Young working off the pick from Supica inside and one. Stills cannot buy a shot from three at just 9% in the game, one of 11. Young will fire a three. That's good. And we saw the pressure from FIU. We're going to see a lot of that today. That's the VCU influence that's been brought to this program by the I poured so much into that program and into those guys. I mean, I'm nowhere near the respons I'm responsible for it, but it's nice to see him number one in the country. Green has a shot blocked by who else? A Sagai. <laughs> Played in the first half. Sluggish in the second has come alive with back-to-back -back threes. A 10-2 run for the pay. Well, Peterson with the rebound off the Osagai miss. And Peterson trying to get something started early, but leaves it behind Parrish. A little miscommunication. John Jacob over Aiko Adams. It's one of those where you just turn around and you say, well, what else can Tech leading. Inbound to Archibald, brings it into the front court, right corner to Ledoux. Ledoux try to get it to Gordon. The ball is knocked away. And Archibald at the top of the circle gives it to Ledoux, gives it back. Ledoux has it. Try to get a bounce pass into Gordon. The ball is stolen. Clock ticking, five seconds to go, first half. Batted up in the air. FIU with a chance from half court. Considerable length of tangent there. <laughs> we don't have time for that. Osaga on the perimeter. He gets the steal at the buzzer, not in time. Bennett muscling it away. Osaga able to take it away initially, diving for the loose ball. Look at that hustle from the big fella. Tonight to continue that streak. I mean, this is a daunting next three games for FIU in this building. As Marshall gives it away again. Between... Saga able to knock the ball away. Nice steal by the big man. Simmons does a good job to avoid Andrews from the middle of the courts. And Day forces the turnover. The outlet to Jacob. Beautifully done. He didn't really start playing basketball until late in the game at Robert Morgan High School. Right on cue. The rejection from Osaka. Two defenders and now underhand left it low and Demir is now down. He's slow to get up. It's contact, doesn't get no foul call, misses the layup, gets his own rebound. The drive in, loses the ball once again and into the hand. And Osasu. It's nice. Oh, that on the floor. Down we go. FIU with an early turnover themselves and a little bit of <laughs> loose possession with both these teams the year, but we still have business and work to get done. Panthers will get about four or five days home for the again FIU is going stone cold here in the first half and now the turnover by DJ Stewart Andrews has 12 yeah he's their guy and now the turnover
Lobbed it up to Woodard. It's back rim and Archibald has possession for La Tech. A brief deflection from Bank. You'll, play, you'll be playing one on one against Osagai. He tried to go back door. Osagai got a piece of it and then he was fouled. High scoring. Great shooting from the Eagles. The final pass would have been an easy two. years old coming into this season still learning his body sizing up Osagai they have to cover on the edge he's done it once this year 0 for 1 from downtown notable Mullins almost banks well FIU had numbers and took advantage Aiko Adams for your player here at Rice way off from each other. Now I know Old Dominion is the Monarchs, but their logo is a lion. That's compared to the point. Panthers for FIU. That's so. not a stretch at all. No, right? Murphy hasn't had much space in the second half to shoot threes. Now Peterson over. Oh! And might put it on ice. Oliveri can't secure it. Murphy with the quick trigger. A little bit. The international team. Day's a little banged up, too. He's got a bone bruise on his knee. Didn't practice much yesterday. That was a great job by Josh Anderson of sprinting to the open floor and saving Rawls. It is a Miami feel. These players love it, though. Thomas on the low block. Thomas nearly lost it. Gives it back to Derek Jean. Jean has a shot blocked by Osaka. He'll take it off. Looking for help, gives it to Ledoux, gives it back to Bracey. Bracey, back to Ledoux. He fakes, pulls up, takes the three. It's going to be short, no good. Ball is kicked. When it gets knocked into the seats, that, that has an extra feel. That hurts your ego.
No surprise there. Antonio Day Jr. leading the league in assists with 144. Nice job to get Osaga up in the air by Murphy. For almost horizontal with the hardwood. And he laid it up on that Euro step. And there's a block on the other end. Yeah. That was a great job by Josh Anderson of sprinting to the open floor and saving Rawls. Just now Hollingsworth. Oh, he thought about ooping it to Anderson. We both, we both saw it. Oh, Saga, the block. And 91% of you believe Western Kentucky is going to win the Conference USA Tournament. Not what a statement by FIU. Oh, boy. Oh, spectacular play. Came up empty. There goes Hamlet. We haven't seen a lot of on Osa, a side guy. Exceptional. He has eight. That gets going. The next pass to try to steal. Hamlet. Rejected by Osagai. This North Texas team, the way they're shooting the basketball. There's a five guard and a one again. Hamlet blocked from behind. And, and that is the versatile. And here we go again, the five guard and the one. Amoja Gibson decides to try to splash it on him. But that's the play concept last year. Not sure a lot of the coaches are big fans of it. Ingram on the drive, puts it up and in as he it stays a one-point lead for the Panthers. Taylor on the drive, blocked by Osaga, Zesovic with the ball. It's funny to me, it's almost like the narrative is switched, because we saw this in the Marshall game where FIU just struggled, particularly in the half-court offense. But his field goal percentage numbers have been sensational all season long, but particularly the last few games. Good contest there. As Panthers got two more points off transition, Ooh, going up high nearly for the bucket. Osaka gets the board. In. Beginning as fast as the start Marshall got off to, you saw that FIU had a little bit of uh, of some turnovers. But they a shot in game clock here. See if Marshall will hold for the final attempt. Kinsey backing down for front. Oh, what a move. Oh, they wanted a goal to, they might have had Miami. Panthers led by as many as seven. Marshall, as many as 14. They're going to write to Petty to start the... Marshall players were saying, were even saying, look, this is one of the first teams that truly is Osaga fouls Kinsey on the spin. Goes with Bamba. Half at right. Camera, you share. Shepard. Turns the tables like Ryder. Won't finish, but Bamba. What a move by Curry to get to the basket and draw the foul on us up. Curry against Zoff with 19.2 seconds on the game clock and a three-point deficit for Old Dominion. You can honestly even get a quick two. You don't see that happen to Osagai too much. This will be fun here. Osagai with the block on the perimeter. Osagai on the perimeter against Green. It's the first time they've switched on to each other. Oh, Osagai wins that matchup. Cool if you ever make your way to Fifth Street. I got you. Okay, now you know. I'll Move make on. sure. I'll make sure next the, time. The shorter, the better. And at all costs, avoid Luke. Rice will do well to just hold the ball, milk every second they can off the shot clock. Peterson can be. DJ Draper along with Thomas Bell. Hamlet breaking it down with five to shoot. Nice body control, but he's short. Dayton's even better than that when you look at some of the metrics. Gibson turning the corner. That comes up short. Osagwai Jr. leading the league in assists with 144. Nice job to get Osagai up in the air by Murphy, but he can't kiss it home. That's one of the things. Threes. They shot 35 threes the first time the two teams got together. Made 14 of them. Martin misfires. I really proves me wrong. See if he gets another one. Now instead it's Murphy. Open out of the corner. Can't hit it. No saw guy pulls down the board. Throughout the majority of the last five minutes. Only two to shoot. More again. Now this time it's in and out. I just think F Rice needs to start stringing buckets and stops. And their best shooter, Murphy, cannot buy a bucket. State tournament. Try to get over that hump. As Rawls had to hoist with the shot clock expiring. And here he goes. 
Isaiah Cozart is checked back in. Osaka hit the stolen away by the Bulldogs. Archibald all the way to the bucket underneath. Shot is blocked as the ball was up there by the circle. Now hands it off to Christian. Can't get the shot. Back to Ledoux. He'll try one. It's no good. And the rebound pulled down by Osaka. Nearly lost it. Gives it back to Derek Jean. Jean has a shot blocked by Osaka. He'll take it all the way to the bucket, puts it up. Transferring in here this year, kind of took some of Stacy Thomas's playing time, but he's playing well tonight, missed the second free throw. That's his first free throws he has shot. Spins, wants to go reverse it, back to Archibald with a three, in and out, no good. Rebound by Osaka, now if I Archibald. Now in the left corner, Williams will try a three, in and out, no good, and the rebound by Osaga. didn't it? Yeah, quarantined him. And they played as if they needed him the other day. He was sorely missed, so we'll have to see how this plays. They needed some points. They're looking for their 13th home win, which would be a school record, which is hard to believe considering the, the, the great history of them. They were together at Louisiana Tech, almost beat the Bulldogs in Ruston. They lost by three. Post them another game, but they got both those guys on the floor, and they have contributed big time. Boy, Milo Supica. He's able to tell from the floor, Tim. Edwards misfiring on the three. Two for 15 from deep. It's a terrific player. It's going to be really hard to, to vote on not just player of the year, but first. The Lopes play host to the Kansas City Rouge. Good evening and welcome to GCU Basketball alongside. Ingram, he'll fire a three. It's not really his game. Sagai pulls down Ingram, down low Schilling. Seabree, corner triple off the iron. With Sagai with the rebound. Have to keep giving the ball over to FAU. Blackshear freed himself up on the spin. The shot spilled out, and Sagai has the rebound. Schilling down low. Backs in on Osagai. Spinning right hand hook goes low, and Osagai rips down the rebound. Got seven. Yeah, look at that shot was partially blocked too. And again, the big fellow. Zasevich missed the layup, got a little too fancy. Tried to go for a load on a triple. That spills out. Blackshear with the rebound. It won't go. The Sagai with the next defensive rebound. Taylor off the inbound. Step back, foul line jumper spins out. The Sagai with the defensive rebound. Forrest with five to shoot. Ingram will have to take the three. Front iron. Big battle for the rebound, and the side guy comes out of there with it again. Number of careless turnovers, miscommunication. FIU will eventually wear you down over the course of a half. Owls aren't helping them their case with their. Then it was trying to post up underneath. Kinsey will fire away. Not a bad shot, but rims out. Here comes F. The last five or six games, though, from beyond the arc. West rise and fire off targets. Transition Ooh. going up high nearly for the bucket. Osaka gets the board, influencing the shot of Miladinovic. You're up by three on the road right now. You, you have to be feeling terrific, even as the three-point struggles continue. Of course, in reality, it's a mid-season conference game. FIU in the thick of the hunt, trying to put themselves in the top five for pod play. Williams fires a three. That won't go. Nick. Coming with 44 seconds left. That free throw short by Shepard. Sag have it. Very young. Into the corner. Martin three. Too strong. Sag got a rebound up to Jacob. They're, they're not by a large margin. They're, they're by no more than 10. So this team is, 
is in the game. They're playing well. They're playing with those long strides. Tough shot. Another uh, offensive rebound. Oliver can't find it. The rim seems like they against the Sagai. Oliver from downtown. And the Sagai skies for the rebound. He's feeling fine. Obviously, we send him our best wishes as he continues. Curry driving right at Day. Reese splits two defenders sent out by a Sagai. Still five seconds to shoot. If you're ODU, you have to go for three now? You have to go for three. they are giving them a lot of room. A player I want to mention once again, CJ Jones, who transferred over from Arkansas, and he registered.